Hey guys, it's Anthony with Signature Real Estate Group and today we're going to be looking at Pinnacle Homes. This one is listed at 695-604. It's a single story house, 2,679 square feet. Sits on a 7109 square foot lot. Three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. We are in a gated community. We do have an HOA of 140 bucks. And this community, and this is everything. This is all the homes. There's, I mean, the gate's right there. We got about eight homes on each side, give or take. Pavers, two-car garage. We have a lovely courtyard. So we got a couple of entrances. First we walk in. If I close this door, so it's kind of like a little hidden courtyard here. And uh, if you have a lot of deliveries from Amazon, FedEx, they can just, you know, leave it here so much safer so this one has uh, two houses in one you got a left and a right we're gonna go this way since the left door is locked but basically it has a couple of houses in one let's go straight check out the backyard and we'll come back and we'll go over this house so this is a quick moving home the builder is accepting offers, so if you guys want to buy this house, put an offer, inquire more information about it, reach out, call me, text me, email me, check the links below, you know, the usual. And if you're thinking about buying a used home, check my website or call me, I can help you with that too. I don't just do new homes, <laughs> but <laughs> it is noisy back here. I don't know if it's because of the construction or something, we do see Craig the street light right over there since our backyard is back to a street so if you're back here you are gonna need uh, you are gonna hear some uh, car noises we got a little puck for a floodlight right there but if you're in indoors like majority of people live in Las Vegas you have the you know door closed you're not gonna hear anything that is a second way to go outside to the backyard and if we look up we do have a couple of lights and welcome back. Let me close this door. It is loud outside. So this house has uh, three rooms and it's kind of unique because each room is on one side of the corner. Let's go and check out this side first. So we got our two car garage, six panel door. Let's walk in. Our garbage disposal is right over there. Did I say garbage disposal? <laughs> <laughs> Where the? Where's my brain? <laughs> Hot water tank. Little loop to add a. To add your water softener. Your rainbird sprinkler system. And what else we have in here? Our main water right over there. And my cue to get your uh, garage door open and close via your telephone wow 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 this is our laundry room it's more like a little mini apartment a sink and washer and dryer that you know goes right over here you got your hookups this is one of the rooms might be a little dark in here since we don't have any recessed lights we do have one in the closet but as far as uh, up here well you know what i don't even see a hockey puck to put a light at all yeah i don't see it i see a bathroom with a shower okay we got a shower bathroom a sink so one room down I'm surprised they didn't have any pre-wiring for a, a light in there. All right, so front doors here, one room down. Now we're gonna go this way. This is your second house or home within a home or second, uh, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> Let me walk outside for a second. So that's our front door right there. That is our second door. So in case you purchase this house, and you want to rent this out you know you can just rent it out this is the living room your TV hookups your tubes 
right over here. If you look down, you got your coaxial, you get CAT6 connection, and you have yourself a, a living room with little mini kitchen, mini refrigerator, but it is a kitchen. You even have triple windows on one side and triple windows that you can actually open on the opposite side. And we do have four recessed lights and a pre-wiring for a ceiling fan. Six panel door will let you in into our bedroom. So this is a bedroom right by the front door. Triple windows. And if we look out the window, we see an F-150 truck with this beautiful doggy. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for his or her owner all right let's go check out the rest of the house the closets right here large closet and a shower fiberglass shower our toilet and one more additional sink with a medicine cabinet and if we look up we do have a light so i love having those lights above the mirror so not bad huh it's like a little mini apartment in here let me turn around so you guys can see it one more time so this is the room and you got your bathroom and bedroom and your own private entrance and once you close this door and you know assuming you put a lock or something it's uh it's hidden, you know, a little tiny apartment. So let me recap real quick. This is the main door. On the left, there's a bedroom. On my right, there's a, a actual house. <laughs> the primary is right over here. Let's check out the primary, then we'll come back and we'll finish up with the kitchen. Welcome to the primary room. The primary has uh, some lights and a puck. Three large windows, two of them we can open, and that was the exterior door to go to the backyard. Your TV hookup is right over here. Oh, they don't have a tube or anything, but we do have a CAT6 connection on that side. I wonder what this is. Do we have two of them? Yeah, it looks like we do. So we have one on this side in case your bed is here. And we have one more right over here. I guess your TV will go here since the coaxial cable. Welcome to the bathroom. On my left we have a couple of vanities and on my right we have uh, this beautiful tub. It's a little dirty in there but it needs cleaning. And we have this uh, walk-in shower. Walk-in shower with a bench Oh, they got rain shower too. Ooh. So this walk-in shower is not the biggest, but it's not that bad, actually. It's good. Having it all glass, it doesn't make it look like, you know, too tiny, too claustrophobic as far as being too small. Linen closet and a large closet. It's a nice size closet. The earnest money for this house is $20,000. $7,000 is your annual estimated tax. I really like this floor plan, especially, you know, having all the rooms far apart. It's almost like, you know, each room can get its own zip code. <laughs> so, this is the rest of the house. You have your dining area right over here your living room with your TV hookups on that side. We have a whole bunch of recessed lights. Let's check out these cabinets. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, now is the time for you to click like and subscribe. Oh, there's a tiny, tiny one. All right, let's check this uh, backsplash. This is lovely. So we have 42 uppers. Fridge goes right there. Let's check out this oven. So it is a Whirlpool appliances.
we got three hockey pucks, four more lights in the kitchen so we can add some pendant lights. And what do you guys think of this oversized island? We have a split Moen undermount sink. Which one do you guys prefer? Split or one large one? I don't know, I think I like a one large one. Five burner cooktop. It's a beautiful kitchen. Check the links below for this model. And if you guys have uh, more questions, give me a call. This one is listed for 695, 604, and it's uh, right under 2700 square foot lot. Make sure to like the video, share and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.